What's happening YouTube? Thank you for tuning in. I'm Don Gregorian. Welcome to Don's Adventures. I'm getting the stuff out of my car. I was up in Big Bear fishing. I uh, got the four trout as you're about to see in the video. And I'm going to cook them up for you guys right now. So first let's go back to Big Bear. And let me show you how that went down. Getting some bites on this one guys. Getting some bites. I'm not going to set the hook. I'm going to wait for it to take it. I already made that mistake. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's pulling on it. All right. Let's get the bell off. This time I'm going to set it hard. Got him. Yes. Got him. Yes, guys. Fish on. It doesn't feel too big. Gonna lay off the drag just a little bit. Let me get the slide on. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Woo! Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a pretty nice fish, actually. Get in here, baby, come on. Yeah, here we go. Man, that's a nice football right there. It wasn't fighting like one. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Okay, the bite is on. I was not expecting it to be this hot. The bite is on. Oh, that's a fantastic fish. That's one beautiful fish, guys. Hold on, let me get my fish grips because I don't want to tear my fingers up like I always but, do. There you go, folks. Beautiful rainbow trout. Let me kill the light just a little bit because it's way too bright probably. There you go. A nice stalker rainbow trout. Right on. This is going to be definitely a good catch and cook. Mm, I'm getting hungry looking at it. <laughs> All right, let's go to fish some more. If we get some more, it'll be a plus. If not, I'll see you guys at the cookout. Right on. Sweet. On the power bait, natural scent, yellow color. All right, let me show you guys something real quick. That's what I came up here for, guys. That's beautiful. Four trout. On the power bait. Nothing special. Carolina rig. If you want to see the setup, go back to my other videos. I get pretty detailed in how to do the setup, the Carolina rig, and the, it's a bottom rig essentially. And uh, you roll up the power bait. Go check out my uh, previous videos. Any video that um, uh, is titled uh, "Fishing Fishing in Big Bear," I pretty much show you guys the setup in every video. So we got four on the line, guys. We got one more to go. Stay tuned. All right, folks, that was a good haul. Now, let's go ahead and cook up the fish. All right, guys, back at the garage. I actually just got back from work, so I'm pretty hungry. What I'm going to do is, as you can see, I got two of the bigger fish all nicely cut up, gutted. I'm still saving the fish heads because I'm going to make fish soup, fish head soup later. But all I'm going to be working with is this midsection of this fish. Look at the colors on that. So this is all I need to cook some food for myself today. Okay. See it's already gutted. I already cleaned it up. So that's all I need to make me a fish sandwich today. So I'm going to bring you along 
and I'm gonna make us the best sandwich you could possibly make with trout so just come along pay attention and I'll show you what I do step by step and guys I set up my garage where I could cook these are my cooking stuff I got a bunch of seasonings down here this is really a cool spot where I could come cook and do my thing I can't do this in my apartment because I literally stink up the whole place so let's go ahead and wipe off some of this um, some slime so I could make this a little bit easier to handle as a matter of fact if you lay down a layer of napkin or um, or a cloth your fish will be stuck to your cutting board it won't move around too much okay so they just go ahead go down right in the middle sharp knife look at that piece of fillet we got and I split the fillets into four pieces okay so you got a whole fillet on this side of the fish a whole fillet on the other side but what I did is I split it into two so I got these beautiful chunks of meat I put some panko that's my panko seasoning and that yellowish pepper you see is uh, this is lemon pepper guys lemon pepper seasoning so I sprinkled some lemon pepper seasoning I got my toast bread that I'm gonna be using I will go ahead and toast these I'll fry them just a little bit got some plain old uh, mozzarella cheese craft cheese or whatever you got some dill pickles I use organic eggs I pretty much try to use healthy stuff because deep frying itself is not too healthy so gotta go healthy where you can all right let's go in and beat this egg real quick take the pieces of fish dump them into your panko seasoning first give them a nice roll okay get some get one thin layer of coating on there just like that okay and then put it into your batter give it a spin then go back into the panko okay that is what's supposed to look like just like that guys I got four pieces of fish ready to go in the deep fry let me go ahead and spark my frying pan put some oil in there get that sizzling and we'll go ahead and dump those in there by the way guys I'm using peanut oil I just got this from Walmart um, Luan Luana peanut oil I've never tried peanut oil I usually uh, deep fry with vegetable oil let's see what happens there's your regular boring toast drop it into the peanut oil just a little to cover the bottom look at that guys that worked amazing and you can always test your oil to see how hot it is by just adding a little piece of panko and egg batter okay look if you see that that's good that's probably too hot I don't want it too hot I don't want to burn my food so just turn it down that's one thing I learned guys is never cook with when it's too hot because that's gonna burn it rather cooking it thoroughly it'll just burn it Bam. 
and try to add everything at the same time so you know exactly when to rotate it and when it's going to be finished okay it looks like it's about time to give it a little flip yep there you go look at that that looks amazing oh, i got stuck on this guy okay there you go Man, that looks good. Oh my lord, look at that. See that golden brown crust we got going on? Folks, I'm telling you. So I, I couldn't, have, that piece fell apart. That's why it looks like that. But I couldn't have done a better job. That looks perfect, guys. All right, guys, our fish should be done. It's been frying about three minutes now. Two minutes on each side. I'm gonna go in and put it on this napkin, let it rest. Did I say three minutes, two minutes on each side? I meant five minutes. About two minutes on each side. I don't know about you guys, guys, but this is, uh, this looks really good to me. I mean, look at that. Wow. Okay. Let's lay down my cheese. Here's all you need to make the best sauce. Get some mayo, get some chili paste. Get that mixed up. Okay, just like that. Let's go ahead and add our fish strips yeah, I think that's pretty much all the room we have we'll just eat that by itself man I didn't realize the sandwich was gonna be this big but that's what I'm talking about folks that good stuff all right guys I will not BS you. I'm going to give you an honest assessment and a taste test on how good this is. All right, let's go. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. It's so light and flaky. And there's so much flavor in it. Look at that. Oh, wow. Guys, this is the, one of the best sandwiches I've ever made. I'm not even joking. Here's that extra piece that I couldn't fit. It's this. It's such a mild flavor. It's not overwhelming with flavor, and I think this is the best way to cook fish, honestly. Go with panko. If you're going to batter it with anything, go with panko. And the dill just kicks it up a notch. That dill, the chili paste, and the cheese is a very good compliment. I'll give this a 10 out of 10. For sure, I'll give this a 10 out of 10. I have zero complaints about any of this. 
It was a perfect amount of salt, perfect amount of spice. The toasted, uh, the toast bread, I think it's Ezekiel, I'm not sure, but it's like a healthy bread. It's so good. My God. You guys got to try this, man. I'm going to wrap this up because I'm just going to dig into this. This is too good. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Man, come along. I got some more videos coming. I'm trying to get as many as I could out there. I'm, I work full time, so I, I pretty much have no time to go out and fish. And I do go out and fish, but I get skunked, so that's why you don't see too many videos. But as soon as I get something, I'll be cooking, out, cook, cooking it for you guys. I'll bring it back to the garage and we'll get that cooking. And next time I'll bring some friends over. I'll bring my cousins over and I'll make them some sandwiches and we'll do a taste test. I'll do different species. I'll catch different species and we'll do a taste test and see how that goes. I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys coming along on my adventures. Thank you for your time. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.